athletics. And like Carolyn, I was a swimmer as a kid. Uh, by the time I was 16, I'd actually broken a couple of world records. Uh, and it just got me into the habit, as you know, Carolyn, uh, of staying in shape. And over the years, I have continued to be very active. I, I was a full contact karate fighter for 12 years. Uh, I've had uh, yesterday, uh, Ivy Sully was talking about concussions. I've had more concussions than I can count. Oh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I'm sort of an, I'm a very active uh, and aggressive mountain biker. And I have had a lot of crashes and things like that, uh, along with other sports. But uh, about six years ago, I had a real winner where I, I went over the front of my bike. My, my front wheel caught in a groove while I was going down a steep incline. I, and as it flipped up on that, that wheel became a fulcrum and it threw me off the bike and over a 50 foot cliff. Okay. And as I was flying through the air, I remember very distinctly, my first thought was I'm going to die. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I flipped over, I landed on my back and luckily I was wearing a camelback full of water, which uh, softened the fall. So I only uh, broke four ribs, got hella backed out and was bleeding as the uh, paramedic said, everywhere. So <laughs> it was uh, it how was long ago a, was that, Kent? That was about five or six years ago. Okay. All and right. uh, the result of that and another uh, snow skiing accident, I, and, and as a doctor, you'll appreciate I've had, I've torn my Achilles tendons both water skiing, snow skiing, respectively, uh, torn both calves, uh, had, had a lot of injuries, but I'm blessed with an amazing immune system. And I haven't been sick literally since I was 10 years old. Uh, but I've been banged up a lot, and uh, I, I call it AJS, aging jock syndrome, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, which I think a lot of us can appreciate. And hey, uh, write that down. Hold on. <laughs> AJS. Is, I think you can look it up in the medical books. The Lancet did an article on it. But the point is that uh, it, it the the pain in my back was reached a point where before I would go do something like go skiing for the day or mountain biking, I always would take an ibuprofen 800. And it would mask the pain and get me through the day. Uh, but I reached a point about a year ago, two years ago, where the pain became nagging and pretty much all the time. And there's no way I wanted to continue taking ibuprofen. So I just sort of dealt with it. And then a friend of mine in beautiful Florida uh, turned me on to the patches. And I said, hey, lay it on me. So uh, sent them to me. And I was one of those one patch wonders. I, I put an X39 in my back. I went to the gym, just like you can see one right here on this photo here. And uh, in the very first day, I felt an increase in my energy. And I thought, well, this is cool. You know, let's see how this goes. And uh, and wanted to see what the result was of the my normal back pain from my injuries and uh, didn't have any. And so I continued using it. At the end of three or four days, literally, with X39, uh, all the pain was gone. Uh, about three months in, uh, and my, my stamina endurance was pretty remarkable. And it's I, I'll, to harken back to my days, I mean, when I was in my 20s, I was a world-class athlete. So in other words, I know what it feels like to really be in shape. And there's no getting around it. I mean, when you're you're in your mid to now late 70s, uh, you're not in the greatest shape you've ever been. And then you know it, you're on the downhill side, right? And uh, about six weeks in, I added X49. And I use a 3949 regimen every single day. And uh, I'll tell you what, I now I realize, despite my age, because of the stem cell activation, I can literally go to the next level. And I'm now increasing muscle, increasing my strength and endurance. I mountain bike with 20 year olds and make them cry. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it's pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, I, I'm a gym rat. And uh, part of my workout is I do 200 push ups. And uh, a lot of people will say, how, how old are you again? And I tease him and I say, you see this little thing on my back here? <laughs> actually, actually, I'm a cyborg. And that's where they plug me in at night. <laughs> and that's so, pretty good. So the, now, the, now I noticed in your testimony, Ken, that you something you had a trampoline accident with the grandkids. Yeah. Um, well, tell me, <laughs> tell us about that. weekend. I mean, anybody I think can identify. You take uh, a seventy, then seventy-seven year old that was much younger, and <laughs> Fourth of July, and uh, with a couple of grandkids on the trampoline, and I was going super high in the air and doing flicks and things. I landed on my right leg 
cattywampus in really ripped my knee and it swelled up to the size of a football. It was the next morning I woke up an excruciating pain, huge. I had to go to the ER. Uh, they took x-rays and the doctor in the ER said that, uh, you know, she says, I, I'm going to have to send you to orthopedics. I'm, I got bad news for you. I think you're going to need surgery. Oh, great. I'm thrilled. Uh, so the thing about orthopedics is they're pretty busy and it took 10 days to get in to see the guy. So knowing what I had in my power, I continued X39 and 49 and every single night I put Aon directly on my knee. I moved around to different places. At the end of three or four days, I could already see the swelling going down and the pain dissipating. As a matter of fact, getting out of bed was awful because you know how it is. You, you throw your legs out and then you're going to have to stand up. And that standing thing was really painful. It was like somebody hitting me with a sledgehammer in the knee. Well, about a week in, the pain went away and the swelling went almost down to nothing. The bottom line is when I finally got in to see the orthopedist, he took a look at my knee. He did some extensions and things and he said, you're good to go, buddy. He says, if the pain's not bad, don't worry about it because you're, you're okay. You're not going to need surgery. You're not even going to need any further PT. And uh, now, of course, it's been another month and uh, it's absolutely no problem at all. I'm 100%. And uh, it, one of the fun things about the patches I want to mention to anybody that's new here, and of course, a lot of you know this, when you get into your 70s, you know how your skin turns to tissue paper? <laughs> and if you just look at it hard, you get these bruises and they're everywhere. And my wife and I, and she's uh, uh, much younger than I, uh, 69, but uh, the point is that we constantly hated the fact that we bang ourselves. Oh, no, now I'm going to have this big bruise to drag around with me. About two weeks into the patches, we both noticed that those had gone away completely. And now awesome. my skin is That's thicker, awesome. tougher. It, it doesn't bruise at all. Or even if I do bang myself really good, there's not going to be a bruise there the next day. And it's important, I think, to understand, as you know, we have our health tracker to really pay attention to where are you now? And then after you use them, Absolutely. where am I in these places? Because you get spoiled about how, you know, well, sure, my skin doesn't bruise anymore. Well, you know, I'm, my, my goal is to live to be 150 and have high quality of life that entire time. And if there's encouragement I can give to any of you, and especially the person that uh, wanted to see this, is that with the patches, and as you start using them on a regular basis, and you learn, I, I still detoxify a, a couple of times a week with the thigh on, you know, and I won't go into details, that's something we all know about. But when you start understanding what they can do for your body, it's gonna take you to another level. And you can, despite your age, take yourself to a whole new level of strength and endurance. And my energy is off the charts. And about two weeks in, by the way, you know, it gives you mental clarity. I mentioned to my wife, because I was feeling my sharpness really back. And I said, you know what? I can feel this mental clarity and this focus coming back. And oh my God, I just admitted that it was depreciating and I didn't realize it. Is that about three weeks into it, one day I left the gym and forgot to put on my glasses and I don't need them anymore. I only need them for reading in the computer. And I've been wearing them for decades. That's and, awesome. Uh, it's razor sharp at distance anyway. You've only been using the patches now for nine months, correct? Correct. How easy was it for you to get into the routine of making this part of your daily healthy things that you do for yourself? Like, was it ever a question? Were you forgetting? Did you set a timer? I mean, what made it easy for you so we can help those who aren't used to doing something on the everyday to make themselves better? It's become part of my daily regimen, no doubt about it, for, for my God, uh, almost 50 years. Every day I get up right. and have a protein drink, handful of supplements, and now Patch. Put your patches on. And, and so it's part of my daily regimen. And the the honest, honestly, if there's ever something I forget is to take it off at night. Yeah, me which, too. which happens rarely, you know, because they of course they don't bother you. You hardly even know they're there. Uh, but and and of course I take them off. And very important, I repurpose them with my puppy. And yeah. she's she's 11 and it shows immediately. And our daughter has a dog one year younger who acts like an old dog i 
and and just over Fourth of July weekend, I put one on on her collar, and within minutes, all of a sudden, she had energy, it was playful that we hadn't seen for years from her. That's so awesome. uh, those pet leathers, don't forget that. Yeah, no, that's 